New York, a city that recently cracked the top 100. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, Billie Jean King, writer Roy Blunt Jr., and the king of the bullwhip, Flash LaRue. Also, a look at the NBC studio tour and viewer mail. And now, a man who thinks music has gone downhill since the Cow Sills broke up, David show we got a we got a this is uh we have a fine program for you tonight i uh, how many of you are still excited about what happened last night on the olympics tonight of course is the the equestrian ice dancing so be sure to watch that but last night uh, for those of you who didn't see it it was the romanian uh, ice dancing couple and they were performing to uh ravel's bolero and an audio technician made a mistake and played it at 78 as opposed to 33. <laughs> and before they could correct the mistake, the, the woman had dislocated a hip and the man had a pulled groin. It was one of the... <laughs> Are you losing the will to live? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we got a great show. Did I mention that? Yeah. Oh, brother. Uh, now, this woman, I have been an admirer of her for many, many years, and, and uh, that doesn't, uh, well, uh, <laughs> see, I don't mean to imply that, well, you know what it means. I've been a fan of hers for as long as she's been playing tennis. Billie Jean King is here. And uh, when, when Billie Jean uh, uh, agreed to be on the show, she said, I'll be on your program under one condition, and the condition is you also get King of the Bull Whips, Lash LaRue. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, a very funny writer and a man who, uh, I guess we could describe him as a... little change. Uh, maybe nobody told you. I won't be participating in the Whip Act with, no, no. Uh, with Lash. Now, why, why aren't you going to participate in the Whip Act? Well... Lash lashed out a little bit at rehearsal, and, uh, you know, person makes his living with his digits, and uh, I'm going to be just sitting off, sitting this one out, and... Uh, you, were, you were actually hit with the whip? Lash got me, got me a little bit, just nicked me with the whip. <laughs> and, uh, did it, uh, did it hurt? Just nicked a little bit. It was kind of a rush, actually, but... <laughs> but I understand that Lash has a very, very beautiful poem. David. We have some poetry from Lash very LaRue, all right. I'm going, to, I'm going to accompany him, and I think it's going to be a very moving moment. I'm looking forward to hearing it. But you Lash were hit with the whip. Just a little nick, you know, and, uh, so, you know, call me king of pain. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't. It was just, uh, you know, just a little nick. But Lash is poetry. That's what I'm looking forward to. Poetry. Lash is poetry. So who will be assisting in the whip demo? Uh, I'm not sure. I think... Uh, Al Frisch. Oh, Al, Al Frisch. Uh, <laughs> Al Frisch. Al, do you know that Paul was hit earlier? Uh, yeah, I sort of guessed he was. Yeah. <laughs> and you're willing to go ahead with this? Sure. <laughs> Let's get right to the viewer mail, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Not a minute too soon. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of television shows, they just let their viewer mail stack up in warehouses somewhere. In the 1950s, my first guest was one of the most popular actors making good old action-packed Western adventure films. Here now, take a look at some of the movies that this man uh, starred in and uh, that made him famous. <laughs> Welcome the king of the bullwhip himself, Mr. Lash LaRue. Lash. <laughs> Lash, how are you? Nice to see you. It's really nice to meet you. Come on, come on over here. 
Let me, uh, let me ask you about some of the films we saw there. How many of those movies did you make? I made about 75 pictures altogether. Of course, I can't remember all the titles. Mm -hmm. But uh, the uh, westerns that I made where we used the whip was the idea of bring them to justice rather than to kill them. <laughs> and uh, how did you decide that the whip was the way to bring them to justice? Well, it was uh, the people enjoyed my pictures to such an extent. They, they didn't know my name. They'd write letters to the guy that used the whip in the picture, uh -huh. Song of Wyoming, which was uh, the first Western I made. Yeah. And, and how did... Yeah. Excuse me, it's the chicken salad. It... Um, <laughs> now, Lash... <laughs> how... Is, is that your real name, Lash? Well, no, that's a nickname. But my mother called me Lash. Mother I guess it's Lash? good enough. Now, when did you first start using the whip? When did you? How did you know you could perform with the whip? Well, there was a fellow by the name of Bob Tansy. He was a producer. He said, "Always be nice to the producer, because tomorrow he might be the gate man and he wouldn't let you in." Yeah. <laughs> so, he uh, was looking for someone who could handle a whip and and. Uh, or a I, film, right? uh, I wanted the part, so I lied about it and went down and rented a couple of whips and beat myself to death trying to learn. Yeah. But uh, about three days into the picture, he, uh, uh, I, he was complimenting me on my acting, and I yeah. said, uh, Bob, there's something I better tell you. And he said, what is it? I said, well, I can't handle that whip. And his face fell to his chest. He said, but you said, I said, wait a minute, now you doubted if I could act, so I just acted like I could use a whip. Right, right. So I went, uh, he... He was worried about how are we going to bring these guys to justice then? Well, no, that was before the, the fan mail started coming yeah. in, uh, Dave. Is, uh, there, is there a practical use for these at all? I know, I guess the it's only... It's good thing exercise. Is... Have you ever used one? No, I've never used Have you ever fished? Did you ever uh, do any fly fishing? No, I never did any. I've done a little just casting, well, but not... No, I'll tell you, with, with a whip, it, uh, the camera's all moving back. Yeah. <laughs> now, why, why do they call it a bull whip? Well, they used to drive uh, cattle with them, and uh, if you pop a whip alongside of a bull, he ain't gonna mess with you if you got the whip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that certainly makes sense. The man with the whip <laughs> is the man. Yeah. All right, so now the practical application for this would be what? Well, it's good exercise, it's good for timing and coordination, and it's instinct. You can't aim it, you have to know about where it's gonna be. For instance, now, if we were, uh, I, I was gonna get a doctor and bring out and have him take a look at uh, Paul's hand there. Yeah, he, you apparently hit yeah. Paul. Did you know you hit Paul? <laughs> yeah, I, I knew. I told him to, that was as far as we wanted to go with it, and he wanted me to do it again, so I did it again. <laughs> Well, <laughs> all right. So this is good exercise, and what are you going to show us tonight? Well, let right? me let me tell are you. These, first, these you, are dangerous, though, you, aren't they? You get the feel of it. You kind of just throw it out there and and get the feel of it. Let, let's. Well. Well, no, you you got to put a little more into it than that. Oh, jeez. I... <laughs> you, you know. Uh, now explain it to me slowly. Take me through it. It's it's all in well, the rest, isn't it, Lash? It's it's all in the in the way the feel of the whip. The end of the whip is like your arm. Now, why, why does it make that noise? What actually is happening? Well, that here? that's the breaking of the sound barrier. Oh, it really? The yeah. All hell is broken loose. Now let me. I'm afraid I'm going to hit you. Let me try to just pop it once, and then all we'll right. get on with this. I feel like a, a jerk here if I can't do this. Uh, all right, here we go, and just over the shoulder. Oh, that's it. Well, that I couldn't have knocked a fly off the. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling like a sissy. I, uh... No. It... <laughs> now, what? You have to, you have to have it have a curl. All right, let me try. <laughs> Maybe it's, uh... Now, you were the good guy in those films, weren't you? Well, uh, the bad good guy. Well, now, but you were all, you were dressed in black. Yeah. Well, I wore black before it got popular. When did, when did it get popular? <laughs> Well, uh, let's see, uh, I could get what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, I I'll, I'll tell you what, you can throw, uh, throw... I'm afraid of hurting someone, that's the problem. I'm... Who are you going to hurt? Well, I'm you? afraid I'm going to hit you. Oh, you won't hit me, go ahead. All right. Well, now, you know. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> no. All right, but you can kind of get the idea. All right, what just else? Can you... Easy, easy does it. Not, you right. don't have to throw it hard, but after you get the feel of it, then would you like to learn how to, how to pop it? Let's see. Come on back here for a minute. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. <laughs> now, take it, take it around this way. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, take okay. it over your, over your head and, and just, I wouldn't hit you. Now we got people over here, Lash. All right, so I get it to, oh, you know, I'm ahead. just about to hit you. And, and now what do I do? I'm, I'm trying to pop. <laughs> oh, heavens, this is, you, you, you got know what's going to happen? This is, there you go. No, we're looking you at almost the, had uh, it. we're looking at the headlines of tomorrow's post is what we're looking at here. <laughs> Whip Maniac Kills for a TV show. <laughs> I, I don't know. Show, show us what you were going to show us. Well, I'll, I'll uh, do this in my spare time. Hold your arm out there like, like that. Now, it, this is uh, the idea of using a whip so that it wraps around the man. and, and uh, So you can bring him to justice. <laughs> See? It, it's a kind of a short whip for that kind of a yeah, wraparound. Yeah, yeah. Now, is there, is there something else to do with the paper? Yeah, the uh, can we, we get some, who's sure. going to do the paper routine? Here's our own Al Frisch is going to help us. Al, nice to Al. see you. Al. <laughs> Tell you what, you can just drop that, this just one. Drop your whip, all right. <laughs> and you spread this out between you, and, uh, and I'll, I'll cut it. Have you ever been and injured? The, the, now, the idea is to cut the paper, right? Woo! <laughs> wow. Want to try the shorter one? No. Okay, another. Well, that's pretty impressive. That's enough. That's very nice. Now, we, we've got some targets here. Uh, let's see if I can... What do you need, Glass? Let me help you. Let me, uh... Just one of those and hold it out. Oh, okay, sure. Like that? Yeah. <clears throat> is that, is yeah. that out enough? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that it? Are we done? We're going to do a commercial here, Lash. All right. Thank you very much. Give me your hand. Lash, Lash LaRue, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll be back, folks, right after this. Very nice, huh? You know, for years, NBC has been making radio and television magic, and uh, when I heard that there was a chance to take a behind-the-scenes tour of this network and the facilities here in New York, I jumped at the chance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and for all of the folks who might not be able to make it to the city, I invite you now to join me as we take the official... Now, once again, Lash LaRue. Yeah! Somebody said, get your whip, and I, uh, I, I thought I was going to do a poem. <laughs> what happened? Go ahead with your poem, Lash. Are you ready, Paul? I'm, I'm a guy that's been kicked around, pushed and shoved, and now i found I don't like that old rough stuff, and I'm telling you now, I've had enough. So if there's something you want me to do, and it seems important to you, ask me. But ask me nice. I guess I'm not the type to force because I like... Cool in the Gang, Hollow Notes, The Pretenders, and more on Friday Night Videos. And... I'm Jamie Lee Curtis. Join me, Eddie...